Inside the top feature piece, you'll find the wiring for the four individual LED lights. You're going to pass each individual cord through the center pipe in the large bowl. Pull through as much of the slack of those light cords as possible. You can temporarily set this middle spill bowl onto the big bowl. You'll then connect the four light cords to the four to one connector, making sure the O-ring is properly seated and that each connection is tight. You can then unfurl the single light cord and place as much of the cord as possible into the pedestal including the 4 to 1 connector. It's best to get some help to lift the bowl on top of the pedestal, making sure all the light cords go into the pedestal and don't get caught in the twist and lock connector. You can now install the pump by putting the pump cord through that same center pipe in the big bowl, pushing it all the way down inside the pedestal. Tilt the unit, reach inside the pedestal, and pull out the pump cord and the single light cord leaving that four to one junction block inside the pedestal for protection. Center these cords in the groove notch at the bottom of the pedestal. Make sure your light grommets are in place. Gather your cords together to install your cord pipe cap, which helps you create a drip loop on these light cords, making sure there's enough slack that the cords go down and into the bottom of the water basin. Organize your light cords and make sure there's enough room for your pump to sit at the bottom of the basin in the area near the pump access door. Connect the large end of the tubing to the top feature piece and insert the small end to the center pipe in the small bowl, making sure to orient that piece in the groove notch. Retrieve the tubing from inside the middle bowl and attach it securely to the pump. You can adjust the flow control to your desired setting. Install the pump access door and make sure that center bowl is level in place. Remove the protection from the spill pipes. Connect the light cord to the external power supply. Make sure that O-ring is properly seated and the connection is tight. You can cover the top output with some foam and decorative rock to smooth the flow and use an included shim to tighten the connection between the top feature piece and the middle bowl. Adjust the viewing orientation to reach your desired effect. You can experiment with the included accessories to change how the water looks and flows. For additional tips and tricks on operating the Zen Fountain, we hope you'll watch the follow-up video, Zen Fountain Running.